So The Witcher, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, The Witcher, CDPR's two main AAA titles, it's bound they share easter eggs and today we check out or revisit an old one from The Witcher 3. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Also guys I'm giving away copies of this game to be in with a chance of winning one for yourself or a friend, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Now this easter egg like I said it isn't a new one but I do feel not everybody has seen it and well in my opinion it's very very cool. It consists of Siri talking to Geralt of Rivia, travelling to a future dimension and well in the minds of many describing Cyberpunk 2077. Now it's been confirmed that there are Siri easter eggs in Cyberpunk as well as further Witcher easter eggs too. We see this magazine here called Nilfgaard, in direct reference no doubt to the Nilfgaard Empire from the Witcher and it's said there are tons more too. But today we revisit the Witcher Easter Egg, which I actually love, and the first time I watched it, it gave me goose bumps. But yeah guys, I will leave you to watch the entire thing. Do drop a like if you do enjoy it, the support really helps me out, and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one. The Witcher never ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly, never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours is healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen. Waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process? Well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I'd left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away, 